got back to the shop it's Monday after Super in Vegas Street Driven Tour. Now I gotta get caught up on stuff and then I have to take the trans out of the Supra and a couple other parts, like probably the diff out to double check stuff before we go to Irwindale. <sighs> Supra's everywhere. Daryl's coming today and we're gonna install some stance coilovers on his JZX100. The boys are here. Hey Daryl. Hey. Hey Kyle. Jeff's gonna pull the car in. The right hand drive chaser. Okay, so I'm over here changing all my fluids. As I drain the trans fluid in the engine, oil put a new filter in. Marked it saying when what the date is. It's always good to do that. I'll drain the diff later and I gotta clean it up because it's seeping a little bit right here. So then once the dirt gets on there, it just sticks to the oil that was seeping out. So I'll clean that up, change the fluid. I will be pulling this out in a second, then take my ACT triple disc clutch out. Put a fresh one in for Irwindale because this one's been in here since New Jersey. It's got a couple rounds on it and a couple practice times. So it's at the very edge of my pedal, so I just don't want to take any chances or have to switch it trackside at Irwindale. Just preventative maintenance, do it right now because we know that it probably will go out at Irwindale. And then we'll send it in to get rebuilt at ACT. Meanwhile, Jeff is over here doing the coils. I think he's already accomplished the front. Kind of lagging it on that one. I should have got a video. Jeff's just really quick. He's gonna be doing the rear now. Just gotta get these guys out access through the back here yeah. it's probably not the easiest to do but he'll figure it out here's the rears these are stance signature single way adjustable those are really good coilovers it's cool to see the one jz vvci in its original home where it came originally this is a really cool car even though it's like just a four-door sedan. So Jeff is almost finished with the chaser. He just did a quick oil change on it too. Coils are in, front and back, oil change, fresh filter, and then he'll take it off the lift here any minute and then see what the ride height set at. It might be too low, then we'll put it back on the lift, raise it a little bit to the desired height that Daryl wants. Okay, so we're under the Supra right now. Uh, I run a Stoli quick disconnect on my clutch line. It just helps for like racing purposes so that if I need to pull the bell housing off but I want to let this stay pressurized on my slave cylinder, I can do so. And then we got all the bolts out of the bell housing. So let me pull the bell housing off. Oh, here's the ACT triple. We're going to be taking this out now and the flywheel out, put a, a whole fresh setup in there. Send this guy back to ACT to get checked and rebuilt because it's down to the very last little bit. So, Chaser's down on his feet now off the lift. It looks pretty good, it's a little too low though. That does look good, but you wouldn't be driving that too much. Who's outside here? Hey, man. This is pretty serious. <laughs> hmm. Ride height set? What? Yeah. We're gonna take it for a little spin. See if it wants to settle down at all. I'm sure it would a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably okay. So the chaser is gonna go out for a little test drive. While we're at it, I got my clutch out, clutch and flywheels out. Let me show you guys up back of the motor. Here is the new ACT triple disc. So we're gonna open this guy up. Shipping the other clutch back to ACT today. 
and they will rebuild it. So here's our fresh one. Jeff won't stop talking. He looks more like a Viking, but oh, the lighting's bad here. Let's oh. do the go this way so it's in my face. You guys have met Daryl before. I've been around a time or two. Yeah. So he is at his perfect functional ride height. Looks good, lower, but also functional. So now he can go all the way back to Canada. Yep, Canada. He came from Canada to get some coilovers installed. So there it is. One happy customer. Okay, so, been doing the install without you guys, but, so fresh clutch, we're tightening down the pressure plate right now. Torque the flywheel down to 75 foot pounds. These require 27 foot pounds, so I usually go to 30. Just a little bit extra, because pretty mean to the car on the track. I don't know, just three pounds extra. Bell housing back on, clutch is in, adapter plate's on. Clutch release bearing or your slave cylinder is back on. Last thing we gotta do, throw transmission in. Supra's all back together. But exhaust, trans, drive shaft, pretty much good to go if I was gonna drive it, but I'd first have to add all the oil. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow and we will catch up with you guys tomorrow. But be sure to subscribe to our channel for the next video that's about to come out. All right, talk to you guys later.